As you guys may have seen as you're following us, we have announced an amazing partnership with the Dream Makers Collective of History Makers with the world-renowned artist Rigo Leon right here. He is the man, the myth, the legend, and the catalyst for all of this that's happening right now that you can see on YouTube as we continue to develop the DMT. What was the vision behind Dream Makers Collective? Why has it come together? And where are we taking this back? Um, thank you for having me, because this is not just me right now, it's a, a whole team of people behind it. Uh, I think the inspiration is another point of view. It's looking for another point of view of looking at art in a different way, in a different concept. And uh, if you had the chance to help all the artists to get to from point A to point B, that's the, the goal, that's the main goal, and that's the inspiration. The same way that all the artists help me and some of them are present today here, um, I want to do the same thing. I want to be that, the, the, the person, that vessel that I help all the artists while I accomplish my dreams too, you know? One of the things I kind of wanted to touch and give a little bit of background to the audience is, is how you became part of the collective. Uh, tell us how that connection was made. It was made over 10 years ago when I was curating the Goodwill in Little Havana and uh, Rigo DM'd me about painting there, putting his art there. And I loved it, yes. And then from then we just started working together. I did this gigantic mermaid in one of his uh, warehouses that he was curating during Basel one year. Oh, so awesome. like through the years we've just kept in contact and I see his beautiful artwork in the McDonald's by my studio. <laughs> I see it all the time. Yeah, so you have a constant reminder to constant. hang out with the Think homie. about him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how you met Rigo Leon and became a part of the Dream Makers Collective and this Hispanic Heritage Showcase. I actually met uh, Rigo Leon in Homestead Middle School working with Wilson painting the whole mural scene nice. and uh, with a bunch of artists like, um, wow, I can't recall their names right now, but it's amazing artists like Zoe, uh, Dreadfully, well, which his name is Ariel, and Alvin. And you know, we've been part of like building, even Didi, I just saw her recently painting there. Like I'm very proud of being that specific project with Elevate Foundation. Tell us a little bit about how long you've been painting and you know, a little bit about your style and how you've kind of put that together with your lived experiences and let your passion shine through what you're putting on canvases, walls. And I've been painting my whole life. Do I gotta stand this close? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stand wherever, wherever you yeah. feel comfortable. I've been painting my whole life since I was a kid and uh, I've been pushing it really strongly for 10 years, which has allowed me to put art everywhere and it makes me happy that, you know, everyone gets to enjoy. Even I like painting with like amongst kids and they're able to participate. It's been like one of my biggest inspirations of the year. Amazing, amazing. Well, you were saying yeah. a little bit earlier that when people ask you what you do, what is it yeah. you like to say you do? I, I like to say I, I like to color. <laughs> <laughs> I like to color. Yeah, I like yeah. the color too. Do you color in the lines <laughs> yeah. or outside the lines? I color everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I met Rigo 
a long time ago. I'd say we go way back. We go all the way back to maybe 2014. I met Rigo through just one of those moments of painting in the streets, being a scrappy little kid throughout Miami and um, just connected. And he kind of took me under his wing for a bit. At the point where I wasn't making any money throughout my career, had even an idea what I was doing, Rigo was kind of like teaching me and putting me on game here and there and bringing me alongside to his jobs and like let me letting me see what he's doing. And it kind of just evolved from there. He kind of became a, like a, a big brother of sorts uh, like a mentor kind of like a mentor yeah oh, that's awesome man that's, yeah that's, that's really cool man like and it started off as a passion and mm -hmm. then somebody took notice to that and was like yeah hey here's how you can live off of that passion and make it uh make it something that's lasting oh god yeah. i say rhyming yeah. Yeah. lasting is a good word yeah, yeah. Amazing, man. It, it, it's, it's, you know, in the short time that we've been spending together, you know, it's great to see how giving and forthright you are with people, whether it's your knowledge, your creativity, you know, ultimately, it's, I see you, you're constantly trying to make a connection with people, right? And, you know, with this Dream Makers Collective, you know, what were some of the things that really stood out about some of the individual artists that, that you wanted to feature in this showcase? Um, I think what we have in common or what they have in common is that they're very unique. Uh, they, they, it's, it's that kind of like, they are like a, a step forward of any other artists and individuals and they, they want more and they are very good people and they, they're growing as an artist but also growing as um, human beings, you know, and that's the thing like when you're good to someone there is no way they're going to be bad to you. If they're bad to you, that's uh, their own karma. You know, like there's nothing you can do about it. Um, but I think all the people there, they we invite and they're part of the of the collective. They are very grateful to be part of the collective, and they're looking forward to see how we can uh, make it better, how we can make more art, and and you know, um, I guess somehow make uh, this place better. So for you, it's, it, it starts with the art, but it's definitely more than that. It, yeah. it's, it's probably the heart too, right? Yeah, 100%. You know, I think the symbolism that I put in my art is, I got inspired by many other artists growing up. So I hope that someday I can inspire other people to follow the dream and the steps, you know, to success. Oh, that's amazing, man. Well, we're going to keep it short and sweet because uh, he's got a bunch of things to do over <laughs> in the gallery, make sure everybody's curated to the best of the fullest of their potential and uh, the talent that's on display. So, Rigo, again, man, thank, thank you, you so brother. much for thank everything, you. man. And I can't wait to see so where we take this. this to the moon, baby, to thank the moon. What's up? I want to do this cool little, uh, maybe we could do it in here, like a class. I don't even know if I'm breaking the rules or something. But, What's up? There ain't uh, no rules, it, man. Ain't no rules. It's right? like it's, painting. It's like painting. painting. Exactly. So we should do a, something where a Vistra, the DJ, right? Oh. Put, we're going to do this with paint with music. Mm. So whatever the music sounds like. So if the beat's like, you get a, a blank canvas. We're going to mm. give you two colors, right? Mm. Whatever two colors you want. They could be primaries or secondary or whatever it is, colors you want. We're going to give everybody a canvas. He's going to play a three-minute song. And it's gonna, or he's gonna for three minutes, he's going to play different sounds and whatever sound motivates you like if the beat for example you paint the way you that sound makes you feel your brush strokes is gonna mimic so if it's a beat it's like bah, 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 bah. I'm assuming you're gonna Damn, uh, I'm about to paint start, but if you rapping. paint but if the song changes it goes doom, 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 doom. your brush strokes Damn. are gonna change so when you're done let's see how the music motivated your feeling and that'll be the paint all right so what's up sign up that? sign up Leave a comment uh, down below. Sign up. That's right. For the what, what, what it's gonna be gonna called call it? mixed media. Get it mixed mm. media. With the music, music and painting. Mixes so the music motivates what you paint. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We were never created to live an average life. We were created to be history makers. Cito Rocks Call is the in the building. Nasty Rockers, by the way. Huh. You all know who Nasty Rockers is. Two nice Cito Rocks. Yeah. Nasty Rockers. We rock. The reason we nasty every time we rock it, right? There you go. <laughs> Ain't got to say no more. Ain't got to say nothing less. We're going to see who Yo, else I'm is in here. I'm proud of you, man. I'm Damn. proud of you. Thank you, my I'm proud brother. of everything you've been doing since day one. I'm proud one. of you, too. I'm proud of you, too. You've Boom been rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. Never stopping. Pop locking and dropping. Uh, you see what happened when we hop in. And the TikTok in. Go. Cheers. Topo Chico. No beers, but this is nice. Mm. Signing off. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs>